I do want to get to some news out of the Western Conference here because you reported late yesterday, Woj, that Steve Kerr, the head coach of the Golden State Warriors, agreed to a contract extension. What are the details of that contract, and why did it happen now? Yeah, Malik, uh, two-year contract extension, $35 million, uh, I was told by his agents at Priority Sports. Uh, Kerr's deal was set to expire in this offseason. That lines him up now with the two years left on Steph Curry's contract. $17.5 million, a record per season for a coach. Greg Popovich makes more, but he's also the team president. And I think the timing of it, this was not an organization. I don't think Steve Kerr was a coach who wanted to go into the offseason with this hanging over them. They've been working at this for months, really on and off, really even to last year. I think when Golden State didn't get a deal done with the gentleman to my left here, I think it was even more paramount for them to get this deal done with Steve Kerr, solidify their leadership now with Mike Dunleavy Jr., their, their general manager, and now they, you know, the Warriors hold on to their four-time championship coach, Steve Kerr, uh, and again, stays on the contractual timeline of Steph Curry. Phew, I mean, really, what, real what, leadership what, in Golden State. Just why can't I get on some of the highlights with Curry? We, I work at ESPN. We decide <laughs> those highlights. There's pictures and videos of me <laughs> hugging Kerr. You know, we're, you know, I couldn't get on. It was all... It was, it was we, scrubbed, we, apparently. Yeah, oh, what's the problem? Oh, there we go. There we there go. go. There, there, there it is. Just See, just I look okay. the same. I look the same. See, what coaching, you know, Steve is... <laughs> coaching is hard. That's why he gets the 17... Million. You, a year. He gets 17 yeah, million a year. You, uh, you would have paid him that 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 as well. Of you had course. a front row seat to this this partnership between him and Steph Curry. Now, of course, we're seeing the Golden State Warriors. There you go. Now there we got go. some Look video for you. There you go. We've seen this partnership continue, take new twists and turns this season as they've changed their starting lineup, Bob. But this is the first time we've gotten to hear your thoughts on Steve's extension. No, he deserves it. He's. Not, I mean, what four titles? Um, I just remember when I we hired Steve as a group, going through that first year of that championship, to be next to someone that had been there as a player and they could command a room. Because that team, you remember how young Curry was and how young Draymond was and Clay. Iguodala was really the veteran and Bogut to some degree, but mostly Iguodala was leading that team. People forget, obviously, he won the, uh, the MVP of the finals that year. But, but Steve shepherded the team in a way where he had said, guys, this is going to be the hardest thing you ever do. But I've done. He knew it. He did it. It's not. We can say all those things, but having a player, as a player, to say that to other players meant so much. And for me to be a young GM and be able to watch him kind of lead that team to a title, and then three more later was, um, you know, I'm forever grateful. I hope. I wish he got 50 million a year. Have Val adversity validates everybody when you succeed. And I remember when he took over the job. Some of us obviously thought about the job that Mark Jackson did. Steve Kerr comes up in there, does an outstanding job, immediately wins championships. There is no question he is one of the top five greatest coaches in the history of basketball. And when you see the money being doled out there for the plethora of coaches that have received him, there is no question that he absolutely positively deserves it. And last but not least, let's applaud his brilliance in terms of him following the model of Phil Jackson. Just like Phil Jackson didn't want to coach anymore <laughs> if it wasn't MJ, Scottie Pippen, Kobe Bryant, and Shaquille O'Neal, okay? Uh, Steve Kerr don't want to coach. We know about Steve's decision away. making. He the, said the no to the Knicks making. when they were at the bottom but, 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 of the but that, but that, was, that was easy because Dolan idiotically <laughs> didn't want to pay him. <laughs> we didn't want to pay him the money in the years that Golden State was willing to give him. Don't get me started I, we, with that. We do that off the air. We don't do it on the air because I can tell you that whole story. <laughs> oh, not that whole story. That's I, going I, down I in commercial that level break. Of depression. I, I don't need that. In the break. I don't need that. Come on, fuck. It's NBA on the air. Come on, fuck.